Hi everyone! Today we are going to learn how Google Cloud is using service mesh in the cloud, and it's not a simple way. First, we are going to understand what a service mesh is. To do that, we are going to imagine a microservice application. When we have a microservice architecture, the complexity starts to grow every time that a new component is added. Imagine a common application that is created by 20 microservices where most of the components talk to each other. Every component needs to understand and discover all the components that are living in the same ecosystem or they won't be able to communicate with each other. Communication between components needs to be encrypted and in most of the cases only authorized when we have the core resource and destination. We need to be able to manage the traffic and even, in some cases, use a blue, green or canary deployment. And we must understand our environment with an observability tool. All these functionalities are not coming with our microservice environment and need to be added. We have many tools for whatever of these options, but in most of the cases are going to add more complexity to our environment. And in the end, we will end in one tool per option. To be able to have all these functionalities and much more in only one service, we have Service Mesh. Service Mesh is based in two parts, a control plane, which can be the brain of the monster, and a data plane that in most of the cases is a sidecar container that will be provide the proxy functionalities, routing, load balancer, and observability. This sidecar, in most of the version, is coming with a common functionality called Envoy that use IP tables for the proxy. This video is about GCP, so we need to talk about Anthos because this is official way to deploy service mesh in a Kubernetes cluster GKE. Anthos is managed infrastructure that can be deployed across different cloud providers like AWS and on-premise. So for example, if you want to deploy a GKE cluster in your data center in AWS and GCP, you can use Anthos. So, if we want to have a service mesh in our distributed cluster, we are forced to use Anthos mesh, and we are forced to use Istio as the software. Too many things that we cannot change. And in this environment, there is a point that is important and is going to bring some complexity, mostly because there is no documentation about that. GKE, as a Kubernetes cluster, is coming with a data plane that is currently in the version 2.0 that can be activated when we create a cluster. This data plane is using eBPF and Thilion. And why this is important? Because most of the functionality that the Istion boy is offering as a proxy and the observability, not in the other points, can be managed with eBPF and Thilion much, much faster and without IP tables in the middle and without a sidecar because everything happens in the kernel. There is currently a Thilion service mesh in beta that is based on a sidecar-less model with one envoy per node in a demon set weight. In this way, all the performance problems that we have when we use a service mesh version with envoy disappear. But because there is no documentation about this topic, we have no idea what happens inside our GCP distribution. And again, this is important because if you activate in your cluster data plane version 2, and at the same time you activate Anthos service mesh, you are going to end in an Istio mesh with an eBPF and Cilium activated with no known configuration. But in whatever case, apart from this non-documented point, what we are going to get when we install Anthos service mesh in our cluster is a cool installation and a simple way to use service mesh in our GKE cluster. For example, we have a managed Anthos service mesh that is a Google managed control plane and an optional data plane that you simply configure. At the end of the day, if you use microservices, you're going to need a kind of mess. And Google Anthos mess is not a bad option to start if you're using, at least, GKE in GCP. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe.